Hello, so this is uh, Khaled again with uh, Dave in his workshop. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Okay, so at least you know that he's not a, an imaginary friend. So basically, we're building a controller for uh, a mount that he has. It's an EQ5 uh, type mount. These motors are temporary, so these are basically um, uh, NEMA 17, but they are the, the pancake ones, the, the, the ones that are uh, not not very high torque. We're, we're just using them for testing for now. And the circuit is now fully working, so we have an STM32 um, F103 uh, C8. So this comes in two versions, one is the uh, black pill which is the one that's in the board and there is the blue pill they are for the most part they are they are uh, interchangeable there are some differences that I'll detail in the comment files in the uh, uh, configuration and, and the HAL and all that uh, there is a, a, a mini board here for an ESP01 uh, which is also which also works however the ESP01 is hard to get working because it uh, you need the uh, uh, USB uh, uh, USB to TTL converter to to flash it. So I use this Lolin, uh, which is a Node MCU V3. This is an overkill for this project because it's it's kind of big. So I'm I'm gonna use a Wemos D1 Mini, which is uh, about two thirds or half the size. But they are all interchangeable. They they load on step. And, and they do work. The, the important part here is this RTC uh, DS3231 RTC and it has the, this is this small chip here is, is an e EEPROM and that's crucial for on-step and on-step would not work without it. Um, we are using for the time being so these are the two stepper drivers here this is LV um, 8729s and they work well. There are there are two capacitors on the uh, on the uh, 12 volt side. So this is the hardware side of it uh, of of things. So what I'll do is now is uh, is show you how to control it uh, from both from the PC and from a cell phone. Okay. So first we go to the cell phone. This is actually not a cell phone. It's uh, it's. Uh, it's a tablet just because I'm using the cell phone to, to, to shoot this video. So uh, if you if you start the, the application, uh, okay, this is kind of bright here, but uh, this is the best we can. Uh, let's, let's try to increase the brightness here. Okay, a bit better. I don't know. Um, so this is the on-step controller uh, that is in available for Android for uh, in the uh, uh, Google Play Store. So first, I have to connect the Wi-Fi to the on-step. So when on-step starts and uh, connects to the uh, the on-step controller, so when when the Wi-Fi starts on the Lolin on the Lolin here, and it connects to the on-step, then it will it will show up uh, an on-step access point so if I if I connect on the, if I click on that then I'll be connected and I can see if I can go into uh, Messier here for example it says no connection okay so we'll check the connection okay and we don't want Bluetooth okay let's see if it's connected now okay now it's connected and it shows us the MC object so we'll uh, we'll select one that's uh, uh, kind of uh, far away m42 let's let's uh, do this so if you connect this if you click on that it takes a few seconds to to load and then it's ready for for me to do the go to it gives you the it gives the description of the object and all that Meanwhile, on the PC, I started KSTARS and I'll connect to the to OnStep. Here is OnStep and we got a connection. Okay, so we'll go here and say go to 
and you will see here that the motors are turning the flashing light here stops flashing which means that the tracking is tracking is off it's doing a go-to now and if you go to the to the PC you can see the where the mount is is, is pointing it's moving here so you can control it from the hand controller which is your which should be your phone or any Android device or from from here for example here I can just go and say say I want to go to the the Nebola, for example, the the tail of the lion. So if I do it here like this, and then I go LX two hundred, and then say slew. Okay, it doesn't like it. Okay, because of uh, probably horizon limit or something. But you can see here that it's. It is moving, the, the pointer is moving here until it reaches the, the northern pole and you can see the Okay, so they wait for each other, the motors wait for each other at the pole and uh, that's that's something that Howard said, this is by design, that's that's the way it is so don't, uh, don't be uh, surprised when this happens Okay, and it keeps going until it reaches its destination here. So this is uh, this is K stars. The uh, there are other ways to, to control it. If you're using Windows, there is ASCOM and ASCOM driver. Um, and the good thing here is that this is a very low cost uh, solution. The, the the I'll say the price is here in the equivalent of the the US. So. The, the main board here is about three dollars or less the Wi-Fi can be about two dollars if you use the one of the big boards it's about four dollars the stepper drivers are around uh, six or seven dollars each uh, the RTC is about one and a half dollars uh, and then the motors are, are separated they depend on, on your mount you need enough torque and and gear reduction and all that so these are not included but you can see here that it's for twenty twenty five dollars of, of uh, of stuff you can you can start building a, a telescope controller and that was the whole idea of uh, doing the STM uh, 32 port so don't forget that the USB cable connecting the yeah. laptop is a data only cable yeah the 5 volt line has been cut because okay. if you both if you power the STM both with the external power and the laptop you'll let the magic smoke up. Okay, and uh, the, the point that Dave is, is mentioning is uh, very valid, we learned it the hard way, but if you burn, uh, if you lose a couple of, of controllers that are $3, it's not like losing uh, a controller that's $35, like the uh, TNC 3.6, for example. And the same goes for the Wi-Fi, I lost a couple of these, I lost about three of them, uh, and one, one uh, STM32. So again, not a big deal. So if you want, if you want to, if you're just trying things out, you don't want to use expensive stuff. Uh, regarding the USB cable, I want to in, in the final solution we'll get a, a, a mini a micro USB port that we would connect to the final project box, and that would be the one with, without without power. So the STM32 port is done, and it's proven to be working now. Uh, it's just a matter of a uh, couple of days, and it will be in in alpha. Hopefully, uh, uh, Howard will uh, review the code and, and uh, incorporate it. Uh, thanks, everyone, and have a nice day.